I'm gonna show you how to make my easy four ingredient pulled pork. I've got my pork shoulder, which is also sold as like a pork butt, but it is the shoulder. Um, some of the fat, we trimmed it off a little bit here, uh, but if you get that fat cap and you like fat, I mean, hold on to it, render it down, make some sauces with it, who knows. I'm just gonna build a really quick rub for it. I'm gonna add some salt to my bowl, a little bit of cumin, so now when you're doing ingredient recipes and you're counting the ingredients, salt and seasonings like pepper don't count, oil doesn't count, but the cumin does. So we've got the pork, we've got the cumin, we've got the salt, add some pepper. I like to loosen this up so I can get some boulders, not snow. So this is gonna be a very simple rub of just salt, pepper, and the cumin. I'm gonna get some gloves on and get into the game plan here. Now when I say rub, I mean it. Just get it up in there and rub it in. But it does have that time in the slow cooker to hang out unsupervised for hours. So a lot of the flavors will start to meld together. But look at how simple that is, huh? And listen, if you don't have cumin, you can always use like a steak seasoning or just go into your pantry and find something that you like that you think would be great with your pulled pork. Hmm? Rub it. Okay, flip the baby over. Try not to make too much of a mess. Get some of that good old rub on the top. I'm gonna open up my slow cooker and get that in. I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. Look at that bad boy. Now to that, salsa. Got a little bit of that cumin left over, get it in here. And our secret and fun ingredient, peanut butter. Listen, I just thought this up one day and thought maybe it would work. Tried it, it works, okay. Even my brain was like, I don't know, I don't know. But it's rich, it's creamy, it adds a little nutty flavor. Peanut butter and meat actually does go very well together. And then look, just right into the bowl, right in to the slow cooker. Four ingredients already in there. All right, I'm gonna cover this up. Eight hours on high. I'm gonna set it. I'm not gonna forget it, okay? And in the meantime, I'm gonna chop up some scallions, clean up my stuff right here. Look at this. Eight hours on high, pulled pork on high. <laughs> This is definitely like a put it in the slow cooker in the morning and then at the end of the day, it's ready to go for you. So really a smart way to set it and kind of forget it. I always say it's not really like you're forgetting it. It smells so good. I'm just gonna go in here and get this out. Look how it jiggles. That lets you know it's ready to get pulled. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's everything I could do not to eat that right there. All right, get some forks into the game plan and pull this pork. Now look how easy this is. Eight hours on high, four ingredients, salsa, the pork butt, peanut butter, and cumin. Salt and pepper, but those don't count. Look at this, look at how tender and juicy this is. Look at that, so easy, nice and shredded. Our pulled pork, look at that, come on. Look at that. Put that on the table with some tongs. Now, we are not done. All of this is delicious, but we're definitely gonna need some of this juice and sauce in here. Let me just get this all out. Come in here, you're gonna have to give it a nice stir at the end. Emulsify that fat. And then look at that. You can ladle some over the top, let it cascade, or as Jeff likes to say, cascade. <laughs> That's right. Come in here and get some of my mashed potatoes. See how cushy that was when I just digged in? Always go in for that second scoop. Can't help myself. And right over the top, four ingredients, perfection pulled pork, a little bit more of the sauce. Come on, cause I love a good ladle of sauce, luscious. Look at that, come on. Four ingredient pulled pork, 